Start tying the fly with a, a yellow thread. Um, so you know, eight oh, you see, well used. <laughs> I'm just simply going to start at the eye of the hook, and we run it down a good four or five mil, and then bring it back up to the head. Because what I'm going to be doing here is put the blue J on first, and the way I do it is, there you go, there's a blue J. Let's put it back together so you can see the colours. Um, I tie it, I roll it on at the head, it's much easier, you get a nice effect, as you'll see when I go to finish the fly. So anyway, what I do is just simply bring them 90 degrees out from the stem and then pull off the fibres. What I like to do is roll the fibres, just roll them just to displace them all and mix them up. And then put the points over the eye of the hook, meaning like that. Firstly, I'm going to get the length of the lake, it's the shank length, which is there. So I'll put it up this point here. And as I say, roll it. All I do is use the thread and control the fibres and just push them all the way around. three turns just to hold it. Just have a look at it. Seems to spread it okay. You can have two or three goes at that. If you're happy with it, then obviously leave it. Just now what I do is pick away these ends. Now another thing I'm going to be doing is tying in the front hackle as well, which is a natural red, it's quite a dark ginger, if you want to call it that. Now what I'm doing is the underside of the feather does that me, I've pulled back all the fluff out of the road. Again I'm going to tie it forward, just to put it out of the road. This helps save bulk, especially when you come up to this, up to tying in the wing. As you'll see, it's worthwhile if you do this just now. It's a matter of cutting this off or breaking it away. Now what I do is then layer a thread on the hook shank. Now this version I'm tying has actually got a gold tag. Gold holographic. Now this is the wide strip. You can use a medium. It'll probably be easier. But what I do is just cut a point into the actual strip the holographic and then catch the point and wind down and round the bend slightly and then bring the thread back up. Now this is not the strongest material in the world so what I do just to protect it, make it last a bit longer, super glue, just a wee lick, just on the tag and wind over the top of that which will make it last much longer and obviously much stronger all the way up to this point just bring the thread across and then tie them in trim away the waist at this point I'm going to tie in a crest golden pheasant crest there you go looking at the length of the body for the length of the tail balance the fly. Just pinch and loop and hold it on top. Have a look, see how it's sitting. It's slightly offset so to go back get it to sit the way you like. So you get better. Now at this point you can tidy up. Just run your thread up. Trim away what you don't need. Just touch and turns, a close touch and turns just Run your thread up. This makes it much stronger. Right. On the way back down, I'm tying the rib. This is oval gold. Number well, small or number 14. 
It's a venue size is number 14 and if you're buying uni it's a small. Let's run it down right to the area where the body starts. It's there. For the body I'm using is it's like a golden yellow seals fur. There you go. Just place it onto the thread. Now I have an anchor point here and this is my but I start twisting and twi and winding the uh, the seals fur on. Now what you do is you start it up, wind the one way, and it should follow. The rest of the fibre should follow straight on. Just keep going. Make sure you place the seals fur onto the thread. You just simply work your way up, tightening the seals fur as you go. Do a turn then tighten up forming the body. Just keep going to get to this point here. And then take away the excess. Now there's a lot to this fly so you really got to leave a good bit of space for the wing and for this hackle here. So you need to get your proportions right. There must be at least one, two and a half mil of space in there. Now I've got a nice ginger saddle hackle. You see it's rather long, grey hackle for doing bodies. Just simply take away some of the fibres. So I'll pull the point in. You can fold back the point. In this case I'll try and catch it because it's just went round the bend. There you go. Just pull that back, two or three turns in. It tucks it in and it'll never pull out. It's got to break off. At this point what I do then is just run it down to the rib. Get the rib. Bring it across and over the hackle and then rub your fly with the gold oval tinsel. All the way up. It's across your thread again. And then tie it in. Now this fly ain't for the faint hearted, it's quite a lot to it. So I'd expect you to be able to tie off a rib and a hackle and such. What I'm doing here is just slightly rolling the fibres between my finger and thumb. Just rolling them and pushing them back. Just out the road. Now the wings hen pheasant the hen pheasant has got a lovely mark on it. You can use a hen pheasant centre tail, but these are the hen pheasant wings. The wing quills, much easier to use. It's got a lovely colour as well. I mean, I do like the tail as, as well, I mean, in some of the flies, but for this fly just now, I'm going to be using the, the hen pheasant wing quills. All I do is take a right and a left slip. Probably... It's just over half a centimetre thick. One from each side. Now what I do is get the both end, both slips for the wing and line them up tip wise. Just like that. You've seen the underside just now. Okay. Lengthwise I like the points to reach the end of the tail. So what I do then is I fold the, the wing, these ends together. That's your right and your left. Get them to sit the way you like. There's your length. You come in. So the wing you want is on your finger and thumb. Pinch and loop. Take the thread right into your finger and thumb. Bring it round and nice and slow. Bring it down. Again. And again. Just have a look to see where you are. And just tighten it up. Look at your wing. That's fine. I see. Do a turn or two just further up. Just keep it tight in your finger and thumb. That's fine. The waist, this is the hard bit here when it comes to trimming away the waist. You really got to get your scissors in and underneath at the same time. Obviously not cutting away the hackle. That's why you need a lot of room to work. 
and go. Now, tidy up. Now, what I do there is just bring this hack over this way, bring the thread up and over, and back down. Okay. And it's just a matter of folding your hackle if you wish, just bring it through your finger and thumb, and then wind up. <coughs> yeah, these hackles are long enough that I can use my fingers to hold it, which I do prefer to do than using a hackle plier. And you wind down to this point here, just a wee quick look to see how much you've got, it looks okay. Bring back the blue J, stroke it back, keeping hold of the hackle. Just looking all the time just to see how good it is. And what I do then is I bring and hold the, J, <coughs> the blue J back and bring the hackle in front. Okay. Cross the thread. One, two, three. What I now do is fold back this hackle point, stroke it back, and then tuck it in. Now you could leave it like that, but a black head is normal in this fly, so simply all I do is just change it over. Keeping the thread nice and tight. You don't have to do that. That's what I do sometimes though. So, just tidy up. You can break this aqua point away at the road. And then you can share and quite finish. Take away your thread. <coughs> Have a quick look. Not my best, not my worst. But a great fly to fish. Fish it really well, especially in Ireland for the wild brownies. It's just a matter of now of Vanish the head all the way around. Let that dry and then maybe add another coat later. But that's your Invicta Bumble. Mm -hmm.